Now is 6.53. I'm going to check in with Kenny Crumpton. Uh, he's out in Avon today, and he's checking out some back-to-school lunches. Mr. Crumpton, good morning. Good morning, Wayne. How do you gourmet up your kids' lunch when they go back to school? Of course, you always want to add some fresh apples. Fresh fruit is good, but we're going to kick it up a notch. That can be special, too, when they're in the lunchroom. <laughs> Brown bagging it. Kicking it with Kenny right behind it. Stay with us. Funky Tweety. Yeah. Saying Funky Tweety. They call Kenny Crumpton the man. I heard that yeah. around these parts. Yeah, they do. Where is the man yeah. kicking it today? Uh, the man is standing in the middle of a whole bunch of produce. That's what I'm doing, Jackie. <laughs> Jackie's already laughing. We, we've done this so much that Jackie just looks at me and starts laughing because you know I'm going to say something stupid pretty much <laughs> in, in the next 15 seconds, huh? <laughs> All right, we're here at the Heinz and Avon. And of course, we know back to school is here, right, Jackie? Right, back to school. And we're standing by the fresh produce. Every, every kid growing up in America got a, something, a banana, an apple, an orange, a peach. So that's all. But you have a twist. You have a twist on... Uh, produce, right? I think we have, a, do we have an apple dish? We do have an she apple dish. She looked at me like, what are you talking we, about? No, Kenny? we do, but we're by the bananas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we have an apple dish. Um, Ohio apples are all coming in to season right now. Uh -huh. So um, we That's have an cool. apple dish. We have some zucchini dishes because of all the, really? all the homegrown. Kids in zucchini, huh? Oh, zucchini. Okay. And then, uh, so when we're, we're gourmeting up the uh, the the brown bag lunch for for the moms and dads who are preparing their kids lunch. So how hard is it to make it nice? Just you know, no offense to the all American bologna sandwich with a little piece of cheddar on it. But how hard is it to gourmet up the the lunch for the kids? Well, you're gonna see it's pretty easy. Yeah. You, you know, kids like different things. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna introduce some really interesting vegetables, homegrown apples, you know, all the stuff that's in season. Okay, and then and with the gourmet flair for little Jimmy, Bobby, or Yolanda. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> She's just laughing at me. Whatever, Kenny, I got food I'm gonna cook over there. All right, so gourmet lunches for little kids as we take them back to school. Jackie does a great job. Also, congratulations, you guys just uh, opened a place in Chicago. We did last, last year. Heinz is now about going across the border, and we're in <laughs> Chicago now. So congratulations for Thank that. You. All Thank right. you. Thank you. All right. So back to school lunch is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, JJ, I know you have a daughter who, what is she? She's a teenager, right? Yep. She's 15, but always looking for healthy alternatives for her as well. So I'm going to be very um, interested in your next segment. Absolutely. <laughs> I can see you slaving every morning in the kitchen making her lunch, JJ. So I know. Yes. Every single morning. I'll it's so hard. It's so hard. <laughs> I'll take notes for you, babe. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you again. Just a bit, Kenny. Thank you. Time now, 6.59. Topping the news this morning. Uh, thank you. 7.18 is your time right now. Time now to check back with Kenny. He is kicking it over at Heinen's with some healthy ideas for our school lunches for the kids. Right, Ken? That's right. Also kicking it with Darcy on Fox 8, the Ocho. Darcy on the ones and twos in our pro producing station. You can... You can give me my action. Look at that action. All right, when we come back, we're, we're taking advantage of fall with some amazing dishes for the entire family. Kicking it with Kenny and Jackie. Stay with us. In just a minute. Kicking it with Kenny this morning. Kenny is uh, giving us some healthy uh, lunch ideas for our kids. Yeah, I'm just glad my daughter, you know, buys lunch at school. So we don't have to make her lunch, which yeah. is good. But a lot of people do, and that's where <laughs> Kenny Crumpton comes in. Hey, Kenny, good morning. What's so funny, Ken? <laughs> uh, I'm just laughing at the realism that we have on this show. You know what? I'm glad my daughter just buys her lunch. I gave her 10 bucks at the beginning of the week, and I just let her go. <laughs> All right. It's so, more like well, 20, it's, actually. It's, so we're gonna, well, we'll spin it for you, Wayne. So it's fall, so this is, these are meals everyone can enjoy. And then we can just, at the end of the dinner, we have leftovers, we're just making for the kids. How about Absolutely. that? All right, so what are we gonna make first? Well, first of all, we have a sweets and beets. Sweets and beets? Sweets and beets. Okay. What it is is roasted sweet potatoes mm -hmm. and roasted beets. Okay, we did this, uh, of course, ahead of time, of but course. it's real easy. Put it in the oven to caramelize the natural so sugars. We have so here we have a beach, and then what else is in here? Some sweet potatoes. Okay. And yeah. a little bit of onions. Okay, right there. And it's yeah. real simple. You just coat it with a little bit of olive oil, some fresh herbs. Now you could eat it just like this if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Or or we're gonna make a little salad with mm -hmm. arugula, and you okay. can add a little bit of balsamic dressing. Okay, a little balsamic. 
All right, okay. very nice. Let's and then and then take some of these yep, and put them in? Absolutely, you can mix them in or you can top them. Oh, so let's just, we'll, we'll top them first so people can see how they look topped. Okay. And you can eat it like that, or if you wanted to, Kenny, you no, can you add a little bit of, okay, you could add a little bit of goat cheese, too. Which is right here. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you mix them in a little bit. We'll mix this in, and then I'll put this on this plate. Okay. There you go. And then if you sprinkle a little bit of goat cheese on top, it's a big spoon to yeah, eat Yeah, that's, that's a huge spoon that you probably had to prep for something else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Little goat cheese never hurts you. Okay. There you go. Excellent. Okay. And of course the um, you know the beets and sweet potatoes are all in season right now. And that's good because it's fall. Right. All right. What else do we have over here? Next we have some homegrown zucchini. I'll let you get Oop. on this side. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, this is really easy. You make zucchini boats out of it. So huh. if you want to see how this is done. Yeah. If you want to do the same thing, take your spoon. Take my spoon. And just kind of run it. There like you this? go. Yep, run it through the zucchini. Kind of have to dig a little bit. There It'll come go. out in chunks. Okay. And in the meantime, I'll take the sausage. And what we do is we add a little bit of tomato sauce to it. Uh-huh. All right, and then um, some Parmesan cheese. Okay. A little bit of breadcrumbs. Mm-hmm. Very good. A little bit of um, mozzarella. Mozzarella. Some garlic, chopped garlic. Okay. And you mix that all up. Mm -hmm. And through the magic of TV, I see the finished product over right. here. Right. And then you'll stuff it in there and then just pop it in the oven and bake it. Okay. And then how long do you bake it in at what temperature? 350. Okay. For about 20 minutes. Awesome. So you have your zucchini, but it has a little kick to it because you're throwing this tasty little... And that's a great meal. That's a wonderful meal. And then, like, you know, if you don't eat all of it at dinner, you can, like, for leftovers, you can, like, chop it, put it in the bag, and then you can feed it to your kids. Right. Absolutely. They can take it there for lunch. Right. And we did one other thing with okay. zucchini. This is a zucchini gratin. Mm -hmm. And what it is, it's just uh, zucchini and onions, and it's layered, um, and then we bake it. Okay. If we want to cut a little bit, we can cut it. We'll just move this real quick. Yeah. There we go. We'll take, our, we'll take our, our universal <laughs> spoon. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see that this is nice and layered. Wow, look but at it's, that. So it's zucchini and some tomatoes and onions and... Just all kinds of goodness. And a goodness. partridge and a pear tree. Awesome. With Jackie's here at Heinen's in, in Avon. So when we come back, we have some more great fall yummy, yummy, tasty ideas. We're going to do Clamorama next. Clamorama. Hot diggity dog. There's <laughs> 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 more Fox 8 News with us when we come back to stay there. Stay here. Stay there. Stay everywhere. Fox 8 News at high definition. Here's Kenny Crumpton. All right. We are getting everything ready for the next thrilling fall segment of food right here at Heinen's. I'm here with Jackie. How am I doing, Jack? We're getting this bowl ready? You're doing great. It's going to be awesome, great food, because it's fall, and you know what that means. Take it with Kenny. Stay with us. Okay, we're... Hey, Kenny Crumpton here at the Heinen's in Avon, having a great time. Uh, it is fall, isn't it, Jackie? It is fall. And Jackie just likes to laugh at Kenny. That's awesome. Okay, so, um, great meals for the fall. Right. Now, of course, it's clam bake season. It is clam yes. bake season. Yes. And if you're going to a clam bake, a lot mm -hmm. of times you get asked to bring an appetizer. Yeah. So we've got this clams casino on toast. Really? So it's all the Can good. I double down? You, casino absolutely. blackjack double down. Blackjack. <laughs> there you go. It's a casino <laughs> reference. Okay. So here we go. So with the butter that you already kind of pre-mixed, want to add a little bit of clams. Okay. That's right here. Mm-hmm. Just a little. Okay. Just a little bit. You say when. Oh. The, These are clams, right? Yep, those okay. are clams. Those are already pre-cooked <laughs> okay. chopped clams. You could, you know, you could get your own clams. That's good. That's good. Okay. You could um, get your own clams and steam them, mm -hmm. take them out of the shell, and then chop them up. Or you can buy frozen chopped clams. Gotcha. Which is just as good. Okay. You want to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. You go ahead. Boom, boom. Okay. I'll keep mixing while you little do A little bit of shallots. Mm-hmm. Little bit of oregano, mm -hmm. 
a little bit of garlic, mm -hmm. a little bit of parsley and bacon. Mm -hmm. Okay? Gotta have the and bacon. And that's your mixture. And then what you do is take a baguette, kind of toast it a little bit with some olive oil, and now you'll spread that on top. Do we need, where's the spreader? Oh, oh we have a spoon, spoon for a spreader. Okay, there we go. So you want to spread a little bit on top, and then what you'll do is put this under the broiler for two to three minutes until it just bubbles and turns brown. Okay. And it, what it is, is it's Clams Casino, the classic Clams Casino on toast. Excellent. Look at that. Okay, what do we have over here? Over here we have a chipino, which mm -hmm. is actually a um, fish stew. From um, Casino to Chipino. <laughs> or San Francisco. Don't be so mean. <laughs> okay. And All this right. has um, Heinen's clam broth. Okay. And Is this what we're going to use for this before absolutely. I start putting it in there? Okay. What you want to do is put a couple pieces, a couple of um, toasted croutons down in the bottom because mm -hmm. that's the best part. And then what you want to do is ladle that over I'll the top. I'll hold this while you ladle it. You're a better, la better ladler than I. Okay. We've got mussels. Oops. <laughs> mussels and clams. Sure, I'm a better ladler. <laughs> There's shrimp and scallops. Ooh, look at that. All right, we are here at Heinz making some great fall meals that are great for the entire family. When we come back, Jackie has some more magic kicking it with Kenny and Jackie. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Stay with us. <laughs> Morning long. Kenny Crumpton, good morning. Todd Meany, thank you very much. At the Salad Bar, celebrating fall freshness, making some great fall meals for you, for the family, for the kids, throw it in the, in the brown bag, and boom, what a gourmet lunch they have. When we come back, kicking it with Kenny right here at Heinen. Stay with us. All right, we're here at the Heinen's in Avon. As you can see, the amazing Heinen's crew is really whipping up some tasty fall dishes for us for the entire family. And guess what? When you're done, put them in the bag for the kids for lunch. When we come back, tasty fall delicious dishes. <laughs> Kicking it with Kenny. Stay with us. Your time now, 8.55. Kenny Crumpton standing by with some healthy lunch alternatives for our kids as they head back to school or the school year now in full swing, Kenny, right? Oh, yeah, this is great, great stuff. Now, we're making stuff that's great for its fault. So uh, if you've been paying attention, it's all fall themed. So it's great for the family. You know, when you get through eating it for dinner, you just put it in a bag and boom, kids can take it for lunch. That's so awesome that we thought of that. Okay, so let's start over here. What are we making, Jackie? Well, first we have some bison chili. Mm, you know that's my school mascot, right? <laughs> I'm that's, sorry, that's, that's Kenny. I'm really up, sorry. <laughs> so, we cooked my school know, mascot. Bison's really low in fat. And we put added it in some, here? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And we added some chickpeas mm -hmm. and some acorn squash just to be a little different. So. Okay. And then you can obviously do any kind of topping you want. We have some pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. Got to give it a little color because we eat with our eyes first. Yeah, absolutely. This, this is little peppers, right? Uh-huh. Okay. And you want to take it up a little bit, you can put some jalapenos oh, in Oh, yeah. We got to take it up, man. Whoops. Whoops. You got to put it on the, the, the actual dish. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And then we'll go, what goes better with chili than cornbread? Got to so have, have cornbread. A little bit of cornbread here that's made in the skillet. Mm -hmm. And there are peppers and sweet corn and jalapenos in there. So that's the that's the color and the flavor we see in there, right? Absolutely. And that's so that's a twist to your traditional cornbread, which is pretty much just cornbread. Cornbread, sugar, yeah, butter. Awesome. Okay, there's our my mascot, my school mascot, chili. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so what do we have over here? This is our whole our whole apple segment. Our a right, our apple segment. Now, our first thing we're going to do a caramel apple um, brulee. Mm. So this is the caramel dip, and we're going to sprinkle a little. Ooh, let's sprinkle the sugar on no. first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's made the same way that you do a, a creme brulee. Mm -hmm. So you put the sugar on. Then we'll start your torch. It's got a safety lock oh, on it. Oh, does so. it right here? Here, I'll, I'll get it going for you. You get it going for me, okay. And then you just want to, there you go. Okay. And then just brown your sugar. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you should have had him do this first. <laughs> Push this down. There you go. And you want to brown your sugar so it's nice and caramelized. 
-hmm. Then you want to serve that with apples. Okay. Or there it goes. any kind of apple or pear there actually would go real well too. It takes a little bit of time to do that, but you see how the sugar's starting to caramelize mm -hmm. there? And that'll give it a nice crispy crust. There you go. Oh yeah, beautiful. Oh, there you that? go. The magic is happening. The magic is happening. <laughs> <laughs> I see. There we go, baby. There you go. Mm -hmm. And, and at home, if you wanted to, you, if you didn't have a butane torch, you could put it right under your broiler mm -hmm. in your, your stove. Okay, I know how this works now. Okay, so okay. I'll put this over here. Okay, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, um, another thing for apples is like an apple and gorgonzola tart. Wow. This would make a great appetizer. So we start okay. with the apples? You or get some we... eggs there. We're going to add a little bit of apples. Okay. Oops, already diced. We're going to get bigger bowls. There we go. You're going to add some gorgonzola to that. Mm -hmm. And that's quite a bit of gorgonzola. Yeah, it is. A little bit of cream. Okay. Okay, a little bit of toasted walnuts. Okay. Okay, our flour that helps mix it all Keeps together. It all together. And then, of course, some chopped parsley. Or you can use any other herb, but parsley works pretty parsley well works with all this. Parsley works pretty good. Okay. And then what you do is just spoon that. Here, well, I'll give you a spoon because your fork won't work. Okay. You want to spoon that right into these mm -hmm. and then those go into the oven and they're baked at 350 okay. for about 15 minutes. And through the magic of TV, we have them out there and real quick, we have a few seconds left. What's the... Uh, we have an apple cider drink for you. Nice, warm. Keep you warm. Keep you warm. It's got some cinnamon, Jackie, star anise, or thank oranges. You. Oh, did we talk about this oh, real quick? Hard wrap. I'm hard wrapping. Cheesecake. Apple cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Jackie. Uh, Fox 8 News at 9 starts right now with Wayne and Stephanie. You guys take it away. All right, thanks, Kenny. Looks good. Thanks so much. And we thank you for being with us on this very special September 11th.